Welcome back people to another episode of the Fat Foodie on his food reviews. So yeah, today is a little bit different. Now, a lot of you guys all have these uh, Dolce & Gusto machines. I've had about 10. We were put Mrs. replaces them when a new one comes out. It's not even broke. But yeah, she's seen these while she's out shopping, bless her. She picked me these bad boys up. So she's got it out camera for you. New Nescafe. Go Green Triangle Mocha. Now I think these were priced at around. Yeah, I think she said some of these were priced at around one pound seventy-five. So yeah, she picked me up another type as well, which I will review for you guys. So yeah, it's a uh, perfect craft. Basically, you empty the packet into a cup, add two hundred ml of hot, not boiling water, stir continuously. Perfection takes time, wait 20 seconds, stir it again. For a creamy texture, gently tap your mug on the table. Is that going to do anything? Oh, he's just testing the idiots there. But yeah, it's a uh, all fair trade. There's a little barcode you can scan on the back. Then we do have a traffic light system here. Oh, you guys can see. If you want to pause it, just pause it there. So yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck into this. You get seven in a pack, 175 on offer. Let's see if it's a fat food of light or a bag of shite. Straight away, I can smell the hazelnut in it. Yeah. It's got a lovely hazelnutty taste. And aroma. Does just taste like the Green Triangle sweets in the Quality Street. To be honest, it's exactly as it says on the box. Yeah, it is really nice. Now, do I think these add up to the Dolce Gusto job? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'd say they do. It is tasty. It's thick. It's creamy. It's lush. It's really nice. Now, at one seventy-five for seven. Yeah, it should be around one thirty, one forty. I don't think. So, yeah. Yeah, at £1.75, yeah, how do you do a good one? Obviously not the Green Triangle Mocha version, but I have tried them. Maybe I'll do a little mini-series, these fancy fangled ones. Then maybe get Audi's Mockers, uh, Tesco's version of the box ones. For people who ain't buying a machine, you know, I don't want a machine, another gadget that sit on the side or, you know, on top of your cupboard if you don't drink coffee every day. So yeah, maybe I'll do a little mini series. Let me know in comments. You know, I could try them. I do like the mocha. Yeah, yeah, it is my favourite a mocha. So yeah, maybe I could do like the Tesco version, the Asda version, the Audi version, the Lidl. See which one's the best. Top of the rankers chart. <laughs> so I'm gonna push off, guys. Without further ado, took up enough of your time for a drink review. It's the summer holidays. The kids are off. So yeah, life is precious. Take it easy my friends. Peace. <laughs>